In this video, I'm going to show you how to get sidechain compression in the MPC software. Check it out. What's up everybody, my name is Matthew Stratton helping you create music and on this channel I do setup videos, tutorials and reviews just like this one. If you're new here, consider subscribing. So if you use the MPC software, you know there's no routing capabilities within the software to sidechain. So as users are forced to look elsewhere for sidechaining options, I found this plugin, it's a third party pro plugin, it's called Sidekick Extend 6 I believe. And I downloaded the demo, so I got the demo on here, and it's only like a seven day demo, so I wanted to do this video while I'm using the demo. And I think the, the um, actual software is only around 40 US dollars, and they give you like a 10% discount. I'm going to go ahead and open up the software. All right, so if you look at this side of the screen here, um, I just have a sequence loaded, and I got three tracks. I got my drums, I got a kick track, and I got a bass track. So here's what it sounds like. Okay, so let me show you how I, I have this routed now. So I have the drums right here on this channel. It's going to output one and two. And then I have my kick right here. And this is going to output three and four. Now the reason why I have this going to three and four is just so you won't hear it. Okay, and then I have bass right here. Uh, and this is on output one and two. All right, and then the bass and that bass drum are like right in the same frequency range, right? And uh, let's say I'm like, oh, I wanna duck that bass with the bass drum. And you know, at the same time, let's see if we can get a pumping effect going. All right, so on my drum track, I'm just gonna leave it the same. Uh, my kick track right here, so I just want the kick to push the bass down. So that's why I made it its own track. So what I did is I duplicated that program and made its own program and I put it on this track, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna put this VST right here, Beat Rig Sidekick 6. We'll put it on this track. I'll open it up for now. All right, so we'll remember this is, this is the first one. This is the one on the kick because you need to have multiple instances of this plugin open for it to work. All right, and then I wanna to go to base over here, and I'm just gonna insert this on the program track. All right, so what I'm gonna do is open that sidekick. All right, and then I wanna open that over here. Okay, so check this out. You can see um, there's a few things going on with this, this app. So the main point I wanna show you here is this send is going to one. You have multiple sends that you can send the signal to, but this is going to one, all right? And remember, this is the kick drum. This one is the bass. All right, so I'm sending the kick drum to one. Now I want to receive the kick drum on one. All right, so check this out. You're gonna hear the effect of it immediately. All right. And you can see the graph right here. This is the visual effect of what's actually happening. So this instance of Sidekick is just sending that bass drum. You can see it right there. This instance is receiving the kick signal and that kick signal is compressing the bass. Now obviously that's very strong signal. It's a very strong, uh, strong compression. So you have a few different controls over here. You know, you have your recover right there. If you hover over it, it's gonna give you the milliseconds. And then you have your attack, and then you have your duck. All right, so the further down this is, the stronger the compression. And it's pretty far down there, right? So if I back it off a little bit, it's not gonna compress it as much. You can see right there, that blue line is the signal, right? So effectively it's working. I got a side chain going on. But say I wanna have that pumping effect, right? So check it out. Maybe I want it to recover a little faster. And, you know. All 
I'll go ahead and turn the program up. There doesn't seem to be any like output gain. But effectively it is working. So check this out. If I come over here to my drums and I can mute the drums. So there you go. I could change all the settings here. All right, unmute the drums. And you know, like I say, if you want it to recover faster, you can have it recover faster. You want less compression, so you just want to, uh, you don't want the pumping effect, you just kind of want to even out the levels. It's pretty cool, man. Alright, so, uh, you know, I could have put the plug-in on the drums. Uh, and you can actually put the plug in on the individual pad. So I could have came over here, you know, to my drum kit and gone to my pad and I could have insert the plug in here. And it basically would have been the same thing. But if you do it this way, you can have basically the solo or the bass soloed and still hear that pumping effect. Where if you put it the way that I just told you, if you mute the drums, then you lose the side chain. So that's why I did it like that. So cool. Now, Admittedly, you can achieve this effect or, you know, something similar to this effect with the LFO or some other different plugins, but this is actually a true sidechain. So if you check it out, I can go into this second sequence I have and go ahead and close these. All right. So I have this track and you can see here, this is the kick. Okay. The kick isn't on every quarter note. It's on off notes too. You see what I mean? And then, you know, I have a different bass in here. It's the same bass line, but it's a different bass. So what I'm going to do is show you what I was telling you about. So if I pick the uh, A1, that's the pad that kick is on. I can insert that side chain right there. So I want to insert the compression here on the bass program. right there. All right. So effectively I want to send on one and I want to receive on one over here. This instance here is on the kick drum. This instance here is on the bass. Okay. And this is sending, this is receiving and you know, and uh, let's listen to it. Now the settings are always really heavy when it, you know, loads up. But you can affect that. Boom. If I want a faster recovery. Now, what's cool about this is that kick isn't on every quarter note and I'm still getting that compression. So that's very useful for, you know, for side chaining. This is what you want. This is like, um, this is very effective. Right, so you get the point. So again, the duck, you can see right there, negative 8.5 decibels. All right. And you can see the line that goes up. All right, cool. So there you got it. So let's go ahead and listen to this again. Oh, here we go. Let me show you this. If I come over here. Oh, now you can hear that side chain wasn't kicking in. It's because my demo read out and they give you a, uh, a little 10% off discount for the full license. 
uh, if you so desire to purchase it. You know, get the demo first, let the demo run out and you get your code right there. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you get the point. Uh, we have effective side chain compression and uh, it works out pretty well. All right, so I wanted to show this to you while I still had the demo running. Like I say, it's a seven day demo and they give you that 10% discount. So if you wanna purchase it, it ends up being around maybe 36 US dollars. And you know, I wanted to share this video because I had been looking for months for this and I finally stumbled across this. And I'm sure a few of my subscribers uh, need some side chaining and this might be an option for you. All right, so I'm gonna put this video in a series. So go ahead and click the card right there and check out that video series. So I have one other video in there right now and I'll continue to add NPC software videos into that series. So go ahead and check that out. Question of the day, what methods are you using to sidechain with the NPC? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Matthew, continue to create, and I'll see you in the next video.